And Dennis, he apologized about those charges. He did, Stephanie. The Hoover alum made a statement shortly after the charges were announced, admitting to what he had done and promising to pay back every cent he earned while doing this. Now, I broke the news to an old teammate of his. Here is his reaction. I'm very shocked to hear any of this. Greg Chartier played with Michael Kendricks on Hoover High's varsity football team more than 10 years ago. But for Chartier, Kendricks was more than just a teammate. He was there when my dad passed away in 06, and you know his family helped me get through a, big, a lot of my issues with it, so he's a good guy. It's why he's perplexed at this news. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Philadelphia says Kendricks, with the help of Demolary Sanoiki, made $1.2 million from insider trading tips. In return for this inside information regarding the investment bank clients, Mr. Kendricks provided approximately $10,000 in cash and tickets to Philadelphia Eagles games. Kendricks made a statement admitting guilt and apologizing for the charges. Part of it reads, I sincerely apologize to my coaches, the owners, and my teammates on the Eagles and the Browns. I also apologize to my family, who I have failed in this. You all deserve better. Let's go! Just last month, Kendricks and his brother and fellow NFL player, Eric, held a youth football camp in town. Chartier says Kendricks will always be a stand-up guy to him and wishes him the best. I hope he does the same. <laughs> Just keeps being him, you know. I mean, hopefully he doesn't do that stuff again. Now the Cleveland Browns, they also released a statement today saying Kendricks will not be traveling with the team to Detroit tomorrow to play in their game. His spot on the team still in the air. Live here at Fred Hoover High in Fresno, Dennis Valera, KC24 Local News That Matters.